Welcome to Aussie Indian and uh, we are bringing you the details of one of the special events which is happening in Sydney and in the iconic Opera House. We are actually celebrating the 150th birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda. And to tell us more about this program, what's coming up, I have uh, the pleasure of inviting to our show Swami Atmeshanandji from the Vedanta Center here in Sydney. Swamiji, Namaste. 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 Welcome to Aussie Indian. And uh, before we go to the details of uh, this particular program, maybe you can tell us uh, what is Vedanta Center? The Vedanta Center is a branch of the Ramakrishna Math and Ramakrishna Mission. Mm -hmm. And in the West, it is called as Vedanta Centers. And in India, it is called as Ramakrishna Math and Ramakrishna Mission. The Vedanta spread in uh, Australia since 1920s in right earnest. But in the 1950s, uh, uh, a lady uh, by name uh, Miss Vilma Spencer, mm -hmm. she got very much interested in Vedanta, went to India and studied Vedanta, brought Ramakrishna Vivekananda literature to Australia and started inviting one of our great Swamis, Swami Ranganathananda, mm -hmm. from the uh, 1969 onwards until 1983. He visited Australia every year and used to visit Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Adelaide, uh, Adelaide, Perth and other places and spread Vedanta uh, philosophy here. Mm -hmm. It was a small group and then uh, the Mathajis of Sharada Math, the Ramakrishna Sharada Vedanta Center, mm -hmm. the nuns of the Ramakrishna order, yes. they came to Australia in 1983 and established a center which is now in Croydon and uh, from then onwards the Vedanta classes used to be held very regularly, mm -hmm. every day and every week. And uh, in um, 2000, in the year 2000, the Ramakrishna Mission sent Swami Sridharananda, our president, to Australia to come and start centers all over Australia. Right. That's got a very long history then. It does have. Oh, that's fantastic. And of course, we see the center at Ermington. Uh, that was uh, from Croydon. It was shifted to Armington only from, recently, from I would imagine. Ashfield. We shifted uh, from Ashfield. Ashfield. Yes. yes. Um, what kind of activities Vedanta Center undertakes, uh, Swamiji? The characteristic of Vedanta Center is such that it is mainly spiritual and cultural. Mm -hmm. uh, we hold classes on the Bhagavad Gita, on Sanskrit language, and uh, on meditation, spiritual life, and other uh, subjects mm -hmm. related to spiritual. Uh, activities and we also have classes for children on every Saturday we have cl got classes and we also hold uh, holiday retreats for children for three day long holiday retreats for children mm -hmm. and there are counseling lots of people come to Swami Sri Dharananda our president for counseling personal counseling and uh, thus we are carrying a lot of uh, mm -hmm. uh, carrying on a lot of activities if you can tell us what is the structure of uh, management in Vedanta Center all around the world. Do we have a head in uh, India and then we have branch managers or branch uh, heads in various parts of the world? You're right, you're right. Uh, the, in, at the headquarters we have a president mm -hmm. who is the uh, supreme president of the whole organization. Right. And he is the spiritual head of the organization. Right. And then uh, there are three vice presidents and then there is a general secretary who is the administrative head of the whole organization. And these, uh, there is a group of trustees made up of uh, monks mm -hmm. and so they send uh, um, heads of, they appoint heads of centers all over the world. So we have in India more than a hundred uh, centers and in total about, we have about 162 centers as of today. And it is growing. There are thousands of centers where we do not have our Swamis, mm. but devotees are managing it. Oh, very good. Uh, well, Swamiji, of course, we all know Swami Vivekananda. Uh, this special event, which we are talking about, which is the 150th birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda, uh, what uh, made Vedanta Center to celebrate this in a big way? The 150th birth anniversary of Vivekananda was declared by the government of India. Mm -hmm as a national event. So the government of India under the uh, presidentship of the Prime Minister, Mr. Manmohan Singh, 
uh, formed, formulated a committee right. to okay. bring the, into life Swami Vivekananda's teaching. So in India, we have uh, uh, lots of uh, welfare activities, especially mm. towards the youth and children right. and to the poor and downtrodden. Lots of welfare activities have been undertaken during this year. And outside India, in many parts of the world, Swami Vivekananda's uh, birth centenary, 150th birth anniversary is being celebrated. In Chicago, uh, they instituted, the Indian government instituted a chair uh, in the name of Swami Vivekananda okay. and also uh, named the, uh, the Parliament of Religions uh, way as Vivekananda way. Mm. Oh, okay. And what is the universal message of uh, Vedanta Center? How can that appeal to the Western audience, for example? Yes. Vedanta does not believe in proselytizing or changing anyone's religion. Swami Vivekananda was very clear when he said that a Hindu must become a better Hindu, a Muslim a better Muslim, uh, a Buddhist a best, better Buddhist, a Christian a better mm. Christian. Vedanta makes that. That means it helps everyone to grow according their own law of growth. We all have got our own laws mm -hmm. and we all have to grow according to our own law of growth. No criticizing anyone, no pulling down anyone, mm -hmm. but trying to raise everyone by this universal brotherhood, oneness. That is the title of the play that we are having at the Opera House. It is called Oneness. We are all one. So it simply cuts across the religious barriers yes. and uh, encompasses all the religions. All the religions, the especially if you come to come and see the Ramakrishna Mission monks. Mm -hmm. We have uh, monks mm -hmm. who are Muslims, but they practice their own namaz every day. Mm -hmm. We have Jews, we have Christians, we have Buddhists, everyone. We mm -hmm. have all of them. They are free to practice their own religion, but they all subscribe to one religion, that is the oneness unity. Mm. Well, uh, let's come to this particular uh, event that uh, you are organizing at the Sydney Opera House. Uh, yeah. So what can our uh, viewers who are planning to come to that event expect? This play is a unique play because it is uh, directed by a very famous award-winning director, Alex Brown, okay. who didn't know anything about Swami Vivekananda, but as soon as he was told that, uh, that this should be done, he immediately read through and he was fascinated by the life and teachings of Swami Vivekananda. So he voluntarily came forward to organize everything himself. And Dr. Kim Kunio, a very famous music director, um, musician himself, mm -hmm. and his wonderful wife, Heather Lee, a great musician, soprano right. herself, both of them, they came uh, and said that they would also like to be involved in this. Right. Uh, we have a rope. Uh, we are have, in fact, we are having auditions for the roles of uh, other okay. actors. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Sahib Chatterjee, a very famous actor in Bengal, he will be playing the role of Swami Vivekananda. Okay. And uh, another lady, Dana, from uh, Dubai, she is a very famous Palestinian actress, okay. but who is very much influenced by Swami Vivekananda. She studied uh, acting at in New York. And she used to visit the Vedanta Center in New York. Right. That's how she has become a great uh, admirer and devotee of Swami Vivekananda. So this unique, and we have uh, uh, many of them are uh, the design. The, uh, Toby is a very good, uh, very famous designer, and others. They are going to participate in it, and this play will be a very unique play, with wherein all the phases of Swami Vivekananda's life will be depicted. Mm -hmm. For many of our viewers uh, who are uh, contemplating uh, enrolling themselves are, of course, uh, coming to that event. Uh, is there a website? Is there a telephone number they can contact Swamiji? Thank you. Um, there is a beautiful website. It is called oneness.org.au. Right. Uh, one can visit that website and that will lead you to uh, booking the tickets online uh, Opera House website. Mm -hmm. So everyone is... We have a special uh, show mainly meant for uh, the retirees and students. Right. It's a matinee show on Wednesday, the 18th of September. Right. It's right. priced, uh, a, a, the price is much lower mm -hmm. than the original price. Right. And uh, we would wish that all our elders and all our uh, youngsters, the students, mm -hmm. they take advantage of this. Mm. Uh, 
so all the details are at the bottom of the screen. Uh, so it is uh, indeed a very special show. Therefore, I would urge everyone in the community to take part in it and uh, jump on that website, get hold of all those details. Swamiji, thanks very much for coming along Thank and you. enlightening us. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.